Hi, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to mesh anchors. If you haven't already done so, I suggest watching our tutorial about the cutout editor first. I already have a basic demo model created and loaded my materials, which is a leaf cluster and a branch cluster. And I also created mesh cutouts for each of them. So now I'm just going to go open the cutout editor for the branch cluster material. And it is here that I will add my mesh anchor points. Mesh anchors are basically points that specify the attachment spot on the mesh asset. So this allows the user to generate meshes on top of another mesh. So as you can see, there are three green mesh anchor control points. This will allow you to place and move the points, delete the points, and this one will allow you to reset the points. So now I'm just going to place the points on my mesh and use the handle to orient them. The direction the handle is facing is the direction the mesh will be oriented. Just going to add more points. Also, if you right click on the points, a menu will appear. It is here that you can assign a specific material to a point or assign an orientation hint. Now something to remember is once you have your points set up, you will want to set them on all your resolution meshes, high, medium, and low. I'm just going to quickly do that. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I just click outside the cutout mesh editor to return to the viewport. I have my model with the frond branches, so the next step is to apply the leaf generator on top of the branch cluster frond generator. I already created two leaf generators, one with individual leaves and one with my leaf cluster. So first I'm going to connect the individual leaves. You'll notice that when I connect the generator, the leaf mesh will grow from the anchor points that I set in the cutout editor. When I go to the leaf generator's generation settings, you'll notice there is an anchors option with a drop down menu. It is here that you can choose to either use all the anchor points or assign a specific anchor point. Now I'm just going to show you how it looks with the leaf cluster. So I just disconnect the individual leaf generator and replace it with the leaf cluster generator. Now something to remember that is really cool is that the leaf generator properties will still be applicable. So if you wanted to, you can alter the orientation, size, and even deform your mesh. Well, that is it for this video and thank you for watching.